Wow, that's a fancy looking DJ console, LP, gramophone record, whatever you can call it. A disc rotates at a constant angular speed. Okay. If the linear speed of the yellow bug at 5 cm from the center is V1. So basically, this guy, this guy is at a distance R. And what is its speed? V1. Find the linear speed of the red bug, which is 5 cm away from the yellow one. Okay, so this is further R. No slipping between bugs and the disc. What does that mean? It means this. It means this. Watch again. If the disc rotates, the bug rotates. And the disc rotates with constant angular velocity. Now I want, I want you to, to understand something. Watch it again one more time. Is the question clear? This happens. Got it? The question is, when the disc rotates, let's say, let me draw the positions. Can you draw the circle transcribed by the yellow bug? Yes, of course I can draw. This is the circle of the yellow bug. Okay. Can you draw the circle of the red bug? Of course I can draw. This is the circle of the red bug. So if I call my yellow bug as 1 and my red as 2, do you know what happens when the yellow reaches at this position 1? Believe me, the red is right here. When yellow reaches here, believe me, the red is right here. And when yellow reaches here, believe me, the red is right here. You know why? Why? Because they themselves are rotating with the disc. And the disc has an omega. That means common omega. That means omega 1 should be equal to omega 2. The entire disc has the same omega. Omega 1 is equal to omega 2. That means they should sweep equal angles in equal time. Their d theta by dt is same. They are covering equal angles in equal time. Equal angles in equal time. But, 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 but. Their radius are different. Agreed? So V equal to omega R. Omega is same. That means V proportional to R. That means the one which has higher radius will also have higher speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is. So if you ask me who is faster, the red bug or the yellow bug, moving faster linear speed wise, the red bug. In fact, I'll give you a simple statement. A typical race, a typical race, let's say cross country, uh, let's say 800 meter race, right? And each athlete has a track. Each athlete has a track. A person will run in the inner track. Another person will run in the outer track. Another person will run in the outermost track. Do you agree as the track gets outer and outer? As track gets outer and outer, the track gets bigger and bigger. Then how is the race fair? How is the race fair? Race is fair. Because if you recall, there is a, there is a heads up distance given by. Not all athletes start parallelly. Athletes start with the heads up. If you recall a diagram of a race, this is how the diagram of the race looks like. One athlete starts here. The other starts here. The other starts here. The other starts here. They are given heads up. That heads up is given on the basis of what? Bigger track means bigger distance. So the bigger distance guy will have a head start. So this diagram has to be other way around. Do you understand that? Anyways, you got my point? Bigger track means big, more distance, 2 pi r. So here, 
omega 1 is equal to omega 2 and v is equal to omega r. Perfect. We know this. That implies v1 by r1 is equal to v2 by r2. Agreed? For the red guy, v1 is v1. Its own radius, r, which is 5 centimeter. I am calling it r, why not? v2, the red bug, I need to find out. It is 5 centimeter from the yellow. That means from the center it is what? 2r. r and r get cancelled. 2v1 is equal to v2. The red bug travels with 2v1 velocity. Question. Is the angular velocity of both 1 and 2 equal? 100%. Is the linear velocity equal? Absolutely not. Because linear velocity depends on what? Angular velocity and radius. They have same omega but they have different radius. That's why different v. Understood? Getting better? Good. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.